welcome to a kind of crazy episode of Biologic Science News. Today, I want to talk about an outbreak of the plague in Madagascar. But first, I want to explain a little bit of context. The bubonic plague emerges annually or seasonally on Madagascar, and this results in about 400 cases a year, most all of which are confined to the rural highlands of the island. It's also important to know that bubonic plague is spread through contact with fleas that live on rodents. The fleas carry the bacteria, and they transmit it to humans when they bite us or crawl on us. You can also get bubonic plague if you touch the body fluids, like the blood or the saliva of a dead, infected animal. This bubonic plague is what usually appears. But in this case of this year's outbreak, it's pneumonic plague. That's really bad. Where bubonic plague is spread by contact with infected fleas and body fluids, pneumonic plague is airborne. Even though they're both caused by the same bacteria, which is a species called Yersinia pestis, the pneumonic plague can be transmitted through the air by coughing and sneezing and breathing, and so it spreads a lot easier. It gets transmitted from person to person a lot easier. Containing pneumonic plague is really challenging, and because of the airborne nature, it can spread across a geographic area really quickly. To make matters worse, pneumonic plague is more lethal than bubonic plague. Both pneumonic and bubonic plague were responsible for the Black Death that killed a third of Europe's population in the 14th century. While bubonic plague is bad, uh, it can be relatively easily treated with antibiotics. But pneumonic plague is just really awful, because if it isn't treated really quickly within the first 24 hours, the mortality rate is basically 100%. If you get it, if you get infected with Yersinia pestis in the pneumonic form, and you get pneumonic plague, and you don't get it treated with the proper antibiotics within a 24 to 36 hour time window, give or take, you're pretty much definitely going to die within 36 to 96 hours. The insidious part of this plague is that the initial symptoms seem relatively benign. They're similar to the fever, or a strong cold, or the flu, with headaches, nausea, and just a persistent feeling of weakness. And this is all too common when you just feel like you have a 24-hour bug. Because these symptoms are so often mistaken for something more benign, people don't bother getting checked out for it. They don't bother getting it treated. And this really just seals their fate. Because as the infection progresses, and the, they'll start to experience breathing difficulty, chest pain, and they'll cough up blood. The lungs of a person infected with pneumonic plague will begin to get filled with a, a slimy fluid composed of saliva, you know, spit from the mouth coming down the throat, and lubricant from the respiratory tract. And because it fills up the lungs, this bacterial infection pretty much gives you pneumonia. In addition to being a more easily spread variant, this outbreak has moved out of the rural highland regions to the urban centers, including Antananarivo, the capital of Madagascar. Here, its aerosolized spread would easily infect many people, and actually, it already has. Cases have been confirmed in South African and Seychelles Island nationals who came to Madagascar and participated in an international basketball competition. They came to Madagascar, they played or they watched basketball, they somehow got infected with the plague, they were exposed to the pathogen in the air, and they began to really show symptoms only after they'd returned home, uh, which in the case of the South African man was returning to the African continent, the mainland. As of October 13th, 2017, this outbreak of plague has infected more than 700 people with almost 70% of these infections being pneumonic plague. So far, 57 deaths have been attributed to the outbreak, and Madagascar has closed schools and businesses, and they've even banned large public gatherings as a preventative measure against the spread of the disease. The World Health Organization has also made a response, giving more than a million antibiotic kits to Madagascar so they can treat potentially thousands of infected people and many more thousands of people who might have been exposed. They have to move fast to contain this disease, because a potentially global outbreak of pneumonic plague would be as destabilizing as it would be lethal. <laughs>